Hello everyone, I'm Zelda Kelly and welcome to this episode of Dark Tales with Zelda. Oh, we've got a good one tonight. I can't wait for you to listen, watch. This is really going to be something if you like mysteries and scary and paranormal, well, this one is for you. So relax, here we go. So this story is about a caller whose name was Jeremiah Thompson. I love that name. Mr. Thompson is now no longer with us. This happened a few years ago, but now I've got my cards to reenact the card reading that he called me. So it was, like I said, a few years ago, Mr. Thompson called and explained that he had inherited a home, and he called it Willow Manor. Willow Manor was frightening to him. He, like I said, inherited this. It was a home that was in his family. He knew about it, but he just never thought that it would come down to him. This was something that he was not prepared for. This was quite a large house. I believe it was upwards of like 8,000 square feet, very large. And it had been added on throughout the years, but there were problems, paranormal problems. He moved in because he knew he was going to have to do a lot of renovations. He was going to have to live there so he could afford to do it. And lo and behold, that's when the activity started. Mr. Thompson explained to me on the phone there were doors slamming. He would hear whispers. There would be disembodied voices. There would be, you could hear walking going up and down the stairs. Your typical haunted house. And believe me, for a paranormal investigator like me, this was music to my ears. <laughs> And I'm sorry to say that because it bothered Mr. Thompson. But this is the cards and the card reading that I pulled out for that day. All right, so I had shuffled the cards and the cards came out like this. And we will read them accordingly. Now with this High Priestess card, she symbolizes that there is a mystery, a spiritual mystery. That there's something going on behind the scenes. And of course, with this moon card, which is also a Pisces. And by the way, Mr. Thompson had a lot of Pisces and water signs in his chart. This card also touches into the subconscious mind. It tells of, of the mystery and intrigue and the yearning for more. But then the tower card came out. And this tower card, the falling down of what he knew as this place, this tower card represented to him that things were in chaos, and they certainly were. So let's go on with the rest of the cards. This devil card definitely was showing him that there was more there than meets the eye. And that is also a Capricornian card. And there was a Capricorn character involved with this as we go into the story. The next card is this Seven of Swords. And there was somebody behind all of this. The reason why all of these things, all of these happenings started was because of someone. The last card I pulled was this Five of Wands, a very fiery element where he felt that he had to protect not only himself, but the property, and he had to form boundaries around it. When I dealt these cards out, that's when he really started telling me the story of Willow Manor. But before we got there, I also pulled out some cards from the Cartomancy playing card deck. Now, these are not the original cards. I have to say that those cards have been retired and are gone. And this is a reenactment 
I have always written down the very most intriguing readings that I've ever done, knowing that I would need them someday, and I certainly do because I love sharing them with you. This is from The Hidden Deck. It's a bicycle deck, and it's a little on the mystery side, so that's why I'm using it. But this Ace of Spades came out, and in the cartomancy, that's known as the Death card. Now, with other cards around it, that would mean an impending death. Now, does that mean this in here? No. There needs to be another card with this in order to point to a death. Have I seen that? Yes, only twice in my career. And I will not tell you what that card is. The next card is the King of Hearts. That doesn't surprise me with this moon card. Because this King of Hearts is also a water sign and can be a Pisces. But this represents Mr. Thompson, his good heart, his good nature, his kindness, going into this property with the intention of doing good. And let's see what else is next. Ah, here is the person behind the hauntings. Here's the person behind what really is going on. She is someone who has money in mind. Money is first and foremost, let's see here, and her son. Definitely the son who was very money motivated was also behind the hauntings. And this ten of spades, meaning loss, depression, and that's exactly what Mr. Thompson was dealing with. It turns out that this property was on an Indian burial ground, and the spirits of the Indians were very upset and had cursed the property. Over the years, Willow Manor was actually built on this part of this Indian burial ground. So it got to the point where it got so bad, he invited me to come and visit him, and I gladly did. As I walked into the house, it was a very heavy feeling, doom and gloom, upset. And believe me, when I came there, these two characters were right there. Come to find it out, there was a hidden treasure that over the years was told was hidden somewhere on the manor. And these two characters were there, stirring up trouble, stirring up problems, and definitely stirred up the spirits. And they certainly did, by desecrating that Indian burial ground even that much more. They dug holes all around that house, and I'm going to say spanned many, many feet around the house in a diameter looking for this treasure. Well, it was Mr. Thompson and myself that were in the house, and he actually locked the door behind us so these two characters could not come in while we carried on our investigation. I heard disembodied voices in this home. I heard door slamming. And believe me, to someone who doesn't, well, know what any of this is, that can be very unsettling, and for many of us that do know what it is, it can be also very unsettling. As we explored this home, we went into the basement, and literally we found a, a hidden room, and it was a small room, I'm going to say about the size of a laundry room, and there were bones. There were, well, well, I'm going to say a treasure chest, but it wasn't a treasure chest. It was a locked box. He opened the box, and in the box were letters, were other items and artifacts, and everything pointing to this person who had literally died in that room. We called the authorities. The authorities came out and took away the body, but yet, he decided to leave that treasure box alone and in that room. 
He boarded up the room and then bricked it. He and I went through, and we said our apologies to the spirits. He filled the holes that were made in the ground. He took these two to court and got a restraining order on them, and they were no longer welcome on the property. Through various types of cleansing and various types of asking these spirits for forgiveness and permission to live on their land, Willow Manor still stands there today. No problems, no hauntings, and yet Mr. Thompson lived there quietly for the rest of his life. He called me every now and then and told me there was nothing more going on, and what an exciting little little adventure that we had. Now, in conclusion, I want you all to know that while these things are very exciting, when you have sacred property or different types of objects that belong in a house or even in the grounds, the best thing to do is let it be. Don't disturb it. Don't uncover it and make sure you respect it. Don't leave anything of yours behind and don't take anything with you when going to a place like this. Mr. Thompson was a beautiful caretaker taker, and a wonderful man. And with that, I'm going to say, is the rest of the Dark Tales with Zelda. I want to thank you all for being here. Make sure you follow me because there's more coming out. And I hope you like this story. It was very exciting and very beautiful. And I love the fact that Willow Manor is still there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.